Hey everyone, welcome back to Let's Play King's Quest 3 to Hair is Human VJ Remake. This is your host, Tifa's Revenge here. And right now we're just sort of stalling for time to wait for the wizard to come back. We've already hidden all our possessions and put the wand back and sealed the bookcase and everything, so there's not a whole lot we can do until the wizard comes back. <clears throat> But, we can look at some easter eggs here that the programmers have put in. It's so like, watch one of these is, is where you just like screw around with the cat. The other is you can just listen to the chickens. Where is that cat anyway? I don't see him. He just sort of randomly appears and disappears. There's the kitty. Let's let's get him. You kick the cat. Ha ha ha. Hey. <laughs> yeah, see now since we can understand the animals, we can mess around with the cat. You kick the cat again. Ow. I'll get you. <laughs> <laughs> we don't like this cat, do we, huh? <laughs> and notice since he was up here, I automatically climbed the stairs. That's kind of funny. In the original King's Quest 3, you'd have to climb the stairs manually, but it does it automatically for you in this remake. Heh <laughs> heh. Here, kitty, 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 kitty. Wha bam! You kick the cat again. Wait till I get you on the stick. On the steps, huh? Yeah, he can actually kill you on the steps, so you want to be really careful once you're going down the steps. Oh, he's hiding now. Hey. You open the front door of the house and go outside. Now let's listen to what the chickens have to say here. Poor boy. He thinks his name is Woody. Wouldn't he be surprised to find out he's a prince? Yes, he's really Prince Alexander of Daventry. Really? I didn't know that. I feel so sorry for the boy. The old wizard treats him miserably. Yeah, no kidding. Yes, dear. But you ought to worry about your own neck. Look at the situation we're in. A couple of chickens strut about their chicken coop. As all chickens do, they peck, scratch, and cluck. The poor things. They'll end up at the old wizard's dinner one day. Yeah, it's too bad. But we're going to take care of the wizard. Ha ha ha. Remember Gertrude? Remember how one day the old wizard came out and got her? Gertrude, huh? Oh, I know. It was horrible. I hear she ended up in his too. I can't bear to think about it. Shouldn't that ch chicken actually be a rooster? Because ch chickens are female, roosters are male. They both look like chickens, though. This should be a, a rooster. <laughs> Whatever happened to your last batch of chicks, my dear? Oh, my poor babies were doing so well. I was just teaching them the proper methods of pecking and scratching when that old rascal came out and and he took them away. Where do you think he took them? I hate to think. I just heard them peeping as they were carried off. Oh, poor, poor chickens. The wizard probably ate them. Oh, well. We're going to take care of them for you. No, no worries, huh? Take care of that evil wizard. Eventually, if he ever comes back, I swear. Here, kitty, kitty, kitty. Oh, bam! You kick the cat again. The next branch is gonna be on your jugular, chicken boy. <laughs> <laughs> Love messing with that cat. And yeah, I wouldn't really mess with cats like that in real life because I love cats. 
So where's the wizard? Wait for him to come back. He'll eventually just show up. Looking down at your rags, you wonder what life would have been like if you weren't a slave. Yeah, that's what I want to know. If I was a slave, what would it be like? I guess we'll find out soon enough. If we ever get out of this wretched place. This old grandfather clock was once owned by the royal family of Ludor. A wizard probably stole it. Alright. Maybe just a couple more seconds and maybe he'll show up. There he is. I have returned, Gideon, and I am ready to eat. Ready to eat, huh? Oh, okay. We'll give you a nice cat porridge. <laughs> He'll just be just about as useless as that guy. All right, so we gotta feed the wizard. Mananin is impatiently waiting for his food. His stomach rumbles as he drums his gnarled fingers on the table. You'd better feed him quickly, or dire consequences may result. All right, let's feed him a special cat porridge. <laughs> Hopefully, he won't notice food it. On the dining table before the hungry wizard. Ravenously, he devours every bit of it. You fooled him! Vananin didn't realize the porridge was tainted and ate the whole bowl. He ate the whole thing, huh? It's obvious the wizard enjoyed his meal as he lets out a satisfied belch. He rises and leaves without so much as a thank you. <laughs> How rude. Oh no, it didn't work! Didn't work? Oh yeah, it did work. <laughs> Congratulations. Banana will never again enslave you or the people. Haha, doesn't he look good as a cat? You wonder. What will you do now? What will we do now? Well, guess what? We're gonna get out of here. First, let's get ready for the final spell. Of course. Of course, we have to get the magic wand first. That was kind of strange. I just sort of clicked there and then just went down then and did did that. That's weird. We gotta get all our magic stuff up upstairs. Dropping to your knees, you reach under the bed and retrieve all your possessions. Alright. So now that the wizard's gone, we don't have to worry about anything anymore. Now it's kind of funny that you see you keep seeing the original cat here, but the, you don't see the wizard cat at all. All right, let's go get the wand. You unlock. You take. All right. After closing. Now. We can just leave everything open and keep our magic items. You push the large book aside, revealing a metal lip, a trap door. There we go. Alright, so we're going to save our game now. It's been Let's Play King's Quest 3, Tifu's Revenge signing off.